Hello. Previously, about two years ago, I did a video regarding Wi-Fi, but it was in ESP IDF 4.3. And now this video is a little bit different, but it's very similar to the one two years ago. And the difference is that now we are using IDF 5.0 with a very small change in the code. And also we work differently in order to enable us to find the relevant IP points which will help us in the future in the current sessions that we are working on. So basically in this video we are taking the standard ESP32 uh, dev kit V1 and uh, uh, want to flash a Wi-Fi and uh, accomplish a POST command and check that it's actually working. So starting uh, from the repository, we have our standard repository, Sims IoT devices, where here I make a small change and the code is now not here, here in the WT32, because this is a series that we are talking about. And sp more specifically, we're talking about two files. Wi-Fi connection for POST uh, command and uh, my data with Wi-Fi credentials. Inside my data, the only thing is the Wi-Fi credentials that you have to update for yourself and put it inside the main. And also, this is the main code, which is use my data file and also use the relevant Wi-Fi credentials. We are copying this this uh, uh, file to our project here. So our project is look like this. We have main with my data and project file. Um, and uh, via USB we have a, a processor connected connected to the computer. So initially, let's do what can. Uh, what, how how does it working? Okay, let's flash it. Uh, Meanwhile, I will do a quick recap regarding the code. Uh, we have a uh, different includes. And the code con con consists of four functions. Where the main, first we establish the Wi-Fi connection. And then we perform the server initiation. Uh, regarding the Wi-Fi connection, you can see it here. Uh, Wi-Fi got IP, okay? Um, all those lines are covered inside the event Wi-Fi event handler. For example, you see, you see here Wi-Fi connection, Wi-Fi STA, uh, connecting STA, uh, it's like here, and connected, it's like here, this one. And like this, we can uh, debug and see where in the process we are. So here we have a, a, a statement that we are connected to this IP. Now I want to check if the statement is true and it will help us uh, in the future. So I'm using the advanced IP scanner software. We have defined two parameters. First, is view, I only want to view a live a connections, a live, and the second one is I wanted to see the live connection from expressive. So I will scan it. Here you can see, and we have only one possible connections from expressive, which is live, uh, in the local network with the endpoint and 178. You can see here, it's also 178. 
Now we want to check if it's working, how we can accomplish it. Uh, we will open the post command. We will initiate post command inside. A, excuse me. We are uh, we are opening the uh, post master. Now we are initiating the post command in the same IP that we have here. Okay. And it's sending the request. And now I have my request responded you can see it in the code how, how does it work uh, we first initiate the wi initiated the Wi-Fi connection and then we establish the server the Wi-Fi connection is expressed here and the small change that I made uh, for the ESP IDF 5 version is added this line okay so now it's working properly in this version and uh, we have two functions to handle the post command uh, first the post handler which will return the this statement and you can see it here Okay, and uh, the server initiation, where we connect the server in server initiation with post, post handler. So basically, in this video, we covered how we can flash and uh, establish a Wi-Fi connection for the standard ESP. Find this ESP on the net very easily in the local network and uh, a, a, a perform a standard uh, post command just to see that it's working properly thank you